So I'm going to do an update video there on how to turn a coyote. So you can hear nice and dry. I let this one over dry a little bit. So lip is still a little bit soft, but the nose is hard. And the rest of it, it's nice and dry. Backside, nice and dry. Another thing I want to show you guys is this board here. I have this here. So when you get down, I got to stop there. So my boards can't go past that. And then I go across and this gets it off the table about six inches maybe a bit better and then that way it can work without the coyote touching the table and when I flip it over with the cardboard it keeps it off the table and then the pins don't touch anything and it's all makes it a lot easier for me to work anyways we'll uh, get this one ready to turn and we'll turn you back on Okay, before we get too involved with uh, turning it, I'll show you the dowel. So the dowel is six feet long. At the end here, I have this rope tied to it. I'm gonna show you what that's for in a minute. I learned that after chasing it around for a couple weeks. Do that. This just here, I don't know, has a, a holder, plus helps me find it in the mist of all the boards if it gets tangled up with it but this part here is pretty important it's the at the end of the dowel i cut it at about a 45 and the pocket of the nose goes right in there so it holds it in you don't want it too sharp you want it around it otherwise it'll poke through the nose but this one could use an actual touch up it's been rounded out quite a bit through the years and then I shellacked it there just to keep it from getting too stinky and oily. But as you turn the coyotes, it still absorbs the oil and seems fine. So you'll get to see this in action here. So we're gonna turn the coyote here. So I just showed you it's nice and dry. So what I do with the cartilage removed, I just tuck the ears back in. And then I turn it, take the nose, make a pocket, and that's where that 45 on the dowel is going to go. And I work it to just past the eyes. And uh, once it starts to narrow in there, it's going to hang up a little bit, but I'll show you guys how to get past that. So here's that rope, right? So I put my foot on it keeps it from moving. So what I do the rest of it, put the coyote on here, the 45 is towards the coyote. And then I just had that pocket there. And I put it in that pocket and I kind of crunch the face up a little bit here. And I start up at the neck. And as I'm going, I'm lifting up the body. So I'm able to slide it. If I leave it hooked like that, then it's gonna it's gonna tear and cause me issues there. So now I just give it one little pull, lift up, pull, lift up, pull, lift up, pull. And of course this one's gonna be stubborn, but once you get it past the one spot, and then you can just pull up again. And once you get it to where it stands up on its own, it's all just gently pulling it down like that. So the next key important spot is down here on the belly. You see, I probably got like three inches. So I take that, cup it, support it, and roll it over. And once you get used to it, you can do it pretty quick with one hand. And then at the bottom here, you can see it's all turned. And then the legs are still kicked up. Now I just cup it with my hand, support it some more and pull the legs down. So now I have the coyote fully turned and it's ready to go on the board the other way. So I just take it off, put my stick away and go back to the drying board.